Hello and welcome to Fire's LEGO Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the LEGO Elf Clubhouse. Um, it is set number 10275. It has 1,197 pieces. Um, and it is part of the Winter Village collection um, that LEGO produces sets for annually. Um, this one originally retailed from LEGO um, for $100 in the US. Um, it has just been discontinued as of this year. It released in 2020, um, so it was available for two years, which is about how long these sets usually stay available and in stock from LEGO. Um, you can still find it on the aftermarket, new sealed in box for, um, <clears throat> on average, a little bit over $100, like between $100 and $150. Um, so not too bad yet as far as the aftermarket prices go, but that could definitely change in the future. Um, so the art on the front of the box is really nice. It's got the relatively new background um, for the a lot of the 18 plus sets where it's just a black background, but they added in these details of the snow, um, which I think is really nice. Um, gives it a little bit of um, extra character um, rather than just being all black. Um, and then obviously the design of the set presented right there in the center. A really nice logo with some reindeer and... Um, holly and things like that um and then we've got a white border um on the bottom the back of the box continues with that white border along the bottom and then we've gotten uh, a view of the inside of the house or the back of it um showing some of the interior um as well as some other features and close-ups of the build um and then we've got this um graphic showing the dimensions of the set. The top of the box just shows um, the elves that are in the set as well as the reindeer um, which is making its appearance for the first time in this set. Um, <clears throat> we've got the set name in another language and an actual size of the star piece um, that's going to go on top of the Christmas tree. Nothing too interesting on the bottom of the box, just more of that white pattern. Um, a little bit of a warning about the light brick um, which is included in most of these Winter Village sets. Um, some other kind of legal information over here. We've got some more information on the side as well as the set name in yet another language. And on this end of the box we've got a nice shot of the Christmas tree as well as the elf riding in a sleigh being pulled by the lone reindeer in the set and of course the Lego logo up on top here. So inside we've got five sets of numbered bags here as well as the instruction manual with some stickers. So there are actually two instruction manuals, one for just the first um, bag it looks like. So just kind of some of the smaller builds for the set here. Um, and then the second bigger instruction manual will actually build the clubhouse. Um, so you can see the different um, steps um, that each bag will build of that. The back of the manual has some kind of Lego advertising here. We've got our usual parts list at the back um, showing all the individual pieces in the set and how many times they're present. Um, so that takes up a few pages here. Um, we've got a nice kind of outline of the set on this page which I don't remember seeing in other sets um, before so that's kind of neat to see. Um, some more shots of the interior. I think these are the same images that are on the back of the box. Um, and I'm looking at the completed model on the back page here. All right, here is what the first set of bags builds. So it's basically all the accessories that are going to go with the completed model. Um, we have our first minifigure here, which is of course an elf. Um, so it's got a torso that has been used um, on Lego elves before. Um, plain short legs, um, a red scarf, also a freckled face that has often been used on Lego elves in the past, um, and the green elf hat with the elf ears um, as part of that mold um, that has also been used several times um, in that color. So nice to have another Christmas elf um, to sort of populate your um, elf village, your winter village, um, and maybe build a little army of elves if you want with all the, um, sets that they've come in in the past. Um, but other than that, it's not really that spectacular of a minifigure. 
Um, like I said, none of the parts are really unique to this figure, so um, just another elf to add to your elf collection. The models here are quite good, so we first have two wrapped gifts, um, and these are, you know, nice, simple design. Um, they appear in a lot of the holiday Winter Village sets um, with all sorts of different color combinations. Um, so nothing too crazy about these, um, but they look nice nonetheless. Um, then we have some gifts here. So we have a piano or keyboard um, that looks really nice. This tile is printed with all the keys on it. Um, and I really like, you know, just how they use the different pieces um, to create that look um, of a small piano. Um, so that's pretty neat. We've also got this airplane. Um, again, kind of a common design that we've seen in other um, Winter Village sets as well as modular building sets. Um, you know, obviously not the exact same design, but we have seen these tiny um, toy airplanes and other forms before. Um, this one looks nice. Probably not my favorite. Um, it's a little bit blocky to me, um, but it, it gets the job done. You know, it conveys what it's supposed to be pretty effectively. Um, the thing that I think is a lot better is this ship. Um, probably a pirate ship. Um, obviously, there's nothing printed on the sails, but I really like how they created the sails and the entire overall look of the ship with these small pieces. Um, you know, just really, um, I guess, limited um, amount of pieces um, to create a really iconic look here. So um, that's pretty cool um, thing that I don't think, you know, I haven't seen a pirate ship like this done in this micro scale before in another set. Um, so it, this is definitely a neat one to have. Then we've got this desktop computer. So kind of the old fashioned, you know, big blocky computer from like the eighties and nineties. Um, and it looks really nice. Um, again, you know, the parts usage that they use to create, um, this model is really fantastic. You know, it's very obvious what it is. Um, and it's shaped really well, um, for what it's supposed to be in this, you know, ingot piece here in light gray, um, represents the keyboard. Um, and then this is a sticker, um, the nice list, um, printed on the screen. Um, so that is a sticker, not a printed piece. Um, but you know, overall this looks really nice. Um, again, just, I love the parts usage, um, and the way they were able to create that shape, um, with these pieces. Then we have a Christmas tree, um, which is common to Winter Village sets. This one is uh, a little bit different design than what I've seen in other sets. Um, so you can kind of see they use these green pieces here, um, to make a lot of the tree. Um, and those are effective and I don't think they have really been used in a Christmas tree build, um, prior to this. Um, so definitely a good use of a piece there. Um, and obviously we've got all the different colored ornaments or lights here. Um, and we've got a nice star on top. Um, again, I don't think I... And familiar with this piece. Um, I don't believe it's appeared in any sets prior to this, at least the Winter Village sets, um, which I do own. Um, they've used other pieces um, for stars in the past, and I don't remember the specific one being used before. It, it, to me, I'm pretty sure it's a new piece. Um, so that's nice. And then you've got the transparent um, brick underneath that kind of gives it a little bit of a glowing look, um, even though it's not actually lit up. So, overall, a really nice Christmas tree. And then we've got the first appearance of the Lego Reindeer. Um, of course, I believe this same mold was used for um, Harry Potter's Patronus um, in a Harry Potter set a couple years ago. But, of course, that was a translucent kind of um, glittery light blue um, piece and not a properly accurately colored um, reindeer. So... This is the first time that it's been, you know, an actual reindeer. Um, and then, of course, it appeared again in the Santa Slay set that released in 2021. Um, but this is definitely a fantastic piece, a fantastic animal mold. Um, really love the look of it. And then we've got this kind of miniature sleigh um, that the elf can 
ride. Um, I thought it was interesting because obviously, you know, reindeer, Christmas reindeer are supposed to be able to fly, but the sleigh has fire coming out the back like a jet engine of some kind. So I don't know if the reindeer's magic was not strong enough to be able to, um, you know, propel the little sleigh on its own or or what, but I just thought it was interesting that there would be a second method of propulsion when, you know, magical reindeer are supposed to be magical and fly, um, and you wouldn't need any extra propulsion there, but um, this, the little sleigh design is definitely neat. Um, you know, I do like the look of those flames, the exhaust coming out, um, and, you know, the color scheme is good. We've got these gold pieces for detail, um, gold chains to attach it to the reindeer, um, and yeah, it looks really nice and it's really effective for what you would want it to be. And of course you can place one of your elf minifigures in there. There is enough space, um, if you wanted to have a minifigure sitting down in the little sleigh. Um, but of course the elf minifigures have the short minifigure legs, which do not bend. Um, so he has to be standing up there, but, um, obviously it looks pretty effective either way. So here's our progress after the second set of bags. Um, we have our second minifigure, and unfortunately, aside from the minifigure head, um, it is identical to the first elf in the set, and it looks like there's one more elf in the set, and it also features the same exact torso, same colored legs. Um, so that's a little disappointing. I would have liked to have seen some variety um, in the elves, like we've seen in other sets where there are multiple elves um, in the past, but unfortunately... Um, like I said, it is identical to the other elves in the set, um, except for the face print. Um, this one has glasses and a big open mouth um, smile. Um, but yeah, not too exciting there on the minifigure front. Um, but the build itself is really nice. Um, so we've got this kind of um, uneven, you know, not rectangular shaped base um, with the white snow. Um, for the bottom, we've got some kind of stones going to the door here. The door can open. Um, and closed, so that is cool. There's a light outside the door, um, some snow um, outside the windows, um, and then, you know, just a really nice building there. Um, and then looking on the interior, there are some details here. So we've got um, kind of a present wrapping station here um, with scissors. We've got a wrap present there on the table, and then um, those um, kind of door handle pieces um, serving as rolls of wrapping paper that are being unrolled, so I really like the effect of that. Um, we've got a cupboard, um, with a teapot and a mug there, um, so that's nice. This rug here, um, and then a couple chairs here with plates and mugs, um, with waffles on the plates. Um, a picture on the wall, um, that is a stickered piece, um, with a bunch of elves with Santa. Um, so you can see there, even in the picture, they all have the same identical um, torso um, designs there. So, I mean, if you look at certain, like, Christmas specials, like Rudolph the red Nosed Reindeer and, um, you know, Elf and things like that, you know, all the elves are typically wearing the same kind of outfit, um, or at least the same design, maybe with different colors. So I can kind of see why they would have um, all the elves have the same um, clothing, the same torso print. Um, but still, it is a little bit disappointing not to have at least a little bit of variety. Even, you know, different colored torsos would have been nice with the same um, design on them, just different colors. But um, unfortunately, that's not what we get. Um, we do have a clock here. Um, and I'm not entirely sure, like, what this, like, obviously you want your 12 to be on the top of the clock. Um, and this kind of moves it back and forth. So I don't know if it's supposed to make it look like the hands of the clock are turning, but then the entire clock is turning, so um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that um, kind of play feature is, um, other than just, like, to have the clock shaking, like there's an earthquake or something. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but it is there. You can move the clock like this, and it's shown to be a function. Like, when you put this in, um, this is kind of tilted um, to be looking sideways, so... Um, Again, not really sure what the purpose of that is, but it is there. Um, and then we've got sort of the beginning of the next floor um, with what is probably another rug um, starting here. Here is the progress after three sets of bags. Um, so we have another elf minifigure, again, same identical design. This one has a megaphone 
Um, this one also does have a double-sided face, so this side is a toothy grin um, with freckles, and then the other side is kind of a frightened grimace. Alright, and then the build itself. Um, so we build kind of a lot of the second floor here. Um, this is the exterior of it with these designs around the window. Um, we've got this wreath here. A lot of nice detail um, building up that second floor of the house. Um, and then turning around, this is what the sides look like with the windows here. Um, some more snow outside the windows, these nice designs on top. Um, and then the interior, we've got um, a dresser with a present um, and a teacup on it. Um, a kind of nightstand with maybe a present or something underneath it. A lamp on top, a little chair there. Um, this is a rug in front of um, a set of bunk beds. Um, this can be moved forward um, and back. Uh, we've also got a calendar up at the top. Um, with December 24th circled on it, Christmas Eve. Um, so really nice designs on the interior here with all those details. Um, I really like um, how the bunk beds turned out um, for where the elves are going to sleep. So um, that's our progress so far. Here is the progress after the fourth set of bags. Um, so one of the first details that we'll show you um, is this North Pole um, and Workshop um, sign um, with the red and white pattern. Um, North Pole pointing to that direction and the workshop pointing a slightly different angle. Um, so that's a really neat sign. Um, I like how they kind of, um, they didn't tell you to put it on straight up. They actually told you to tilt it a little bit sideways. Um, so I just like kind of the, I don't know, wackiness of that, you know, the um, imperfection of how that pole is designed. Um, and then the main feature that was added with this set of bags um, is of course the snow covered roof um, so we've got a really nice design for that um, on both sides um, and these pieces over here that overhang the windows on either side um, we've also got these sections here um, that cover this area kind of a walkway area there and over on this side it covers this part of the building and then we've got a little um, deck with a telescope um, so kind of something to observe, maybe to observe um, Santa um, as he has taken his flight on Christmas Eve um, or just to stargaze, um, you know, so just giving you a full rotation of that. Um, obviously nothing has been added on the interior. Um, everything is still as it was before. Although in the construction of the roof, we do have the addition of the light brick for the set um, with this little kind of toggle um, switch that turns it on. You can kind of see it lighting up in there when I press that. Um, so that lights up the model from the interior um, as is typical of most of the LEGO Winter Village sets. Um, so that's a really cool feature to have and I'm glad that they continued to use it for this set. Looking back at the front we also have these strings of multicolored Christmas lights um, around the front. Um, so those look really neat. Um, you know, kind of uneven, you kind of got to be careful how you place them on here or you're going to have ones kind of sticking out a little bit like I do and it's really tough to get them placed like perfectly so that they are all like kind of facing the same direction. But it still creates a neat effect and I really like the different colors that they used um, for those lights. So overall looks really nice. The fifth and final set of bags includes our fourth and final minifigure. Um, just like all the others, she has the same outfit. Um, so nothing really new to discuss there. She has a smiling face and it is double-sided. So the other side features her still smiling or laughing, but this time with her eyes closed. Um, so a neat um, new expression there. And as for the build itself, we have the addition of this chimney. Um, so some really nice detailed um, stonework on the outside. And then on the back, same thing, same kind of pattern on the back um, until we get to the stocking here. A really nice red and green stocking. Um, and then this contraption, I guess you could call it, um, that will cause waffles to fall into the pan down below. Um, kind of a unique feature, uh, but you can press this. Um, we'll actually pull this lever up and it will release one of those one by one tiles. And then you just put it back in place and it will stop them. Um, you can, you know, take the pan out, actually flip it forward and you know, take the waffle back out. You can see these waffles are printed one by one round tiles, um, but then to put it back into this little machine, you just stick it 
um, over here and it falls back in there um, and then of course you can put the pan back now this attaches to the model with these hinge pieces here um, so it goes right along here so with that attached here is what the set looks like from the back side um, and with the hinge you know you can rotate it around um, and then we'll just show you a view of what it looks like from the front now So there we go with the chimney in the back. Um, it's a really nice look. Um, again, you can rotate it this way if you wanted to. Although, you know, if you want the set on display, um, which I imagine most people who buy the set want to display it as part of a Christmas village, you would want the chimney displayed like that. Um, so the set is now complete and I will give you my final thoughts. Overall, this set is a really nice addition to the Winter Village collection from LEGO. Um, you know, there's tons of great details. I love the looks of the building itself. Um, obviously, this is a more fantasy-oriented um, building um, than some of the other sets that we've gotten in the past What that actually kind of fit in a Christmas, you know, village. Um, this more fits in with Santa's village um, with the Santa's Workshop set from several years ago. Um, and then the Elf Clubhouse here going with that, as well as the gingerbread house that could kind of fit into that fantasy theme. Um, but still, it looks really nice and would look fine um, next to any of the other Winter Village models. Um, another positive for it um, is just the fact that they're able to keep these Winter Village sets currently at the $100 price point. Um, obviously, this one came out a couple years ago, but still, even since this one, um, they've been keeping those sets at the $100 price point. And you really get a lot of detail and a lot of stuff packed in um, for that price point. So I feel like there's a lot of value for your money um, with these kind of sets. Um, you know, a great central building with tons of little details in there. Some great side models, including that fantastic looking Christmas tree. Um, and some really nice micro scale models. Um, as well as that piano and the computer that I really love. And it also featured our first um, appearance of the Lego Reindeer. Um, so overall, a really fantastic set. Great addition to the Winter Village lineup. Um, I would highly recommend this set um, if you can find it anywhere. Um, even paying a little bit extra on the aftermarket um, is well worth it for this set um, to fill out your Winter Village collection. If you've been watching this channel, you know that I time my builds. Um, and this one took me just under two and a half hours to complete. Um, and that averages out to about 7.1 seconds per piece, which is over a full second below my overall average of 8.4 seconds per piece. Um, so it wasn't a particularly complicated build, um, but it was still a pretty fun build. You know, there was a lot of stuff um, that was fun to put together. Um, definitely not one of, you know, even though it's an 18 plus sets, it's not a super advanced or challenging set. Um, it's pretty straightforward to put together, and I feel like, you know, that's where kind of that 18 plus um, designation really um, loses some credibility, I guess you could say, because, you know, any teenager, I mean, even like a 10 or 11 year old, I think, would be capable of putting this together um, by themselves. Um, I know certainly <laughs> when I was that age, um, I would have no trouble putting something like this together. Um, but yeah, definitely still a fun build, um, even if it's not particularly challenging, um, and fantastic details and stuff, so. I would give this set a 9 out of 10. Um, there's honestly not that much that I find, um, that I have a problem with it. Um, you know, again, a couple things that I mentioned were the fact that the elves all have the same outfit. Um, it's a little disappointing to not have a little bit more variety, um, with the elf minifigures. Um, and then... You know, just kind of nitpicking here, but just those lights um, and how they can kind of be uneven when you have them placed like that is a little bit disappointing. But overall, the set is really fantastic. Um, I don't really have many other complaints besides that. Um, maybe the stickers would be one that I find an issue with, especially with the, you know, kind of 18 plus um, um, adult geared sets. Um, I really think that they should do away with stickers, especially in sets. Um, that are designed for adult builders and advanced builders like this. Um, but other than that, like I said, um, I highly recommend this set. 
If you have any comments or questions about this set or the review itself, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a like, um, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more content, um, more reviews coming in the future. I plan to review any set um, that I get. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.